So hello my friend, basically I'm creating this tutorial video today to basically show you how to use feed reader, you know, to generate tons, I mean massive uh target targeted website traffic. You know, a couple months back I got this tool, just left it on my literally left it on my on my the desktop of on the on my computer on the desktop of my computer like that, never touched it, but then a couple months later touched it and realized it was one of the most powerful tools in the internet you know and I'm gonna you uh, show you how to utilize it today but first thing I want to show you because this goes hand in hand with using feed reader first thing I'm gonna show you is how to get somebody's feed link when you go to it you know how when you go to a blog how to get their feed link to put it in feed reader so that you can have them notifying you so that you can go comment all right first off I'm gonna use one of my top commenters Dan Lou you know this is him right here and I'm just gonna redirect to his website real quick. You know, this is how his website looks. His website is basically www.danlu.com. And Dan, I really appreciate him as a person, as a human being. And he is one of my top commenters, always coming to my website and commenting on my website. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you this example using Dan's website okay alright so now we're just gonna head over to Dan's website and as you can see this one of his comments that he put up you know I wanna thank you Dan I really appreciate you man alright okay so first and foremost you get to you get to Dan's blog right you get to his website and you wanna find out basically how to get his feed how to extract it how to get the link of his feed okay so first thing you're gonna wanna do is first thing you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna look for a button. This is a button that looks exactly like this in Dan's website. This orange button right here. Let me mark it just so that you can see, really see what I mean. Okay? This orange button right here that I mark, you're gonna look for a button that looks exactly like this right here. And it can be located anywhere in the website. It can be located anywhere, okay? So now first thing first thing you're gonna do is look for a button that looks just like this. Like I told you, it can be located anywhere on the website. It can be located in the header banner of Dan's website. Anywhere. All you gotta do is look for this button. When you see this button, click on it. You go ahead and you click on it. Okay. And this is Dan's feed right here. It takes us directly to Dan's feed. So this is the link. You see this link right here that I just uh, that I just highlighted? You will take this link and paste it into feed reader. We're gonna get to that, but I'm just first thing I want to show you how to get extract people's feeds. Okay, so this is the link for Dan's feed if we wanted to get his uh, feed and, and stay up to date with it. Now the second strat strategy that you could use to to uh, to get Dan's feed to extract a per, uh, a person's feed. If you don't see this button anywhere, you don't find it anywhere. The second strategy for you to use. Okay, let's say we, we come here and we don't see Dan's feed reader button. So what we would do is we would have put Dan's website, which is www.danlu.com. And then at the end, we would put forward slash and we would type in feed. Okay, now I want to highlight this as you can see, if, if, you know, to get this feed when we don't see the button, we just put in the, the website name and then we put forward slash and at the end we put feed. Once you do that, you just press enter. You go ahead and you press enter. And as you can see here, it takes you directly to Dan's feed. So if we wanted to paste Dan's feed in for in feed reader to keep us updated, we just take copy and paste this link right here into the feed reader, which I'm gonna be showing you how to do. Okay. So one more time again, Dan. I really want to thank you, man. I know you're gonna be commenting on this site and uh, in this article and seeing this video. I really want to thank you. I appreciate you. Again, most definitely, my friends, go. Check out www.danlu's website. Check out his website. Come see him here. As you can see, the man's adding a lot of value. He got a great website. You know, it's very, his website looks very good as well. And most definitely come check out Dan Lu out, which his website is www.danlu.com. Okay? All right. So next thing I want you to do is I want you to head over and type in feed feedreader.com and go we're gonna go download feed reader okay I already have it downloaded but I'm just gonna give you an overview okay so uh, first thing you wanna do here when you come to this feedreader.com I have the link in the article so you'll be able to see it there you wanna come and you wanna click on this uh you wanna go ahead and click on this button which says download 
I'm gonna draw it for you so you can see it as well. This button right here says download. Okay, so you wanna go ahead and click on that button. Okay, once you click on it, it's gonna show you some options. All right, and the options as you can see here, you can uh, download download it by the installer or you can download the zip file, whichever one is good. You choose one of those to download and you get it downloaded. Okay, so once you get feed reader downloaded. Now what I'm going to teach you is I'm just going to move on to the next step and I'm going to show you how to utilize feed reader, okay? All right. So now I'm just going to the the the, the feed reader is basically it's in my my desktop right here and as you can see it's going to show you a little icon. It's going to show you a little icon in the bottom of here in the icons and it's going to be in your programs and once you open it up, I'm going to show you how to use it right now. I simply open it up, okay? Now to add feeds, I'm going to show you right now how to add feeds in Feed Reader. Okay? So to, if you want to add a feed to Feed Reader, and by the way, this is all my feeds. And these are some of the top blogs I keep up with. And these blogs, they get a lot of traffic. They get a lot of people commenting. And I make sure that every time this, what this Feed Reader does is every time this Feed Reader, you know, sends me basically some, uh, these people write a new article blog post. It sends me a, 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 a notification directly in my desktop, and right there, I'm able to open that article up in that website and go comment. And these these websites get I mean thousands upon millions of visitors. So that means that once you comment on that article, and you're the first to comment, or the third, or even the fourth, do you you realize how much traffic you're gonna get? I mean, targeted website traffic, you know. And so all right, so now. I'm gonna show you now. We're gonna get Dan's uh, Dan's uh, link. We're gonna get Dan's feed, so we can uh, take place his feed in our feed reader and keep up to date with it. Okay. So the, now remember, if you want to get uh, the person's feed, all you gotta do is click on this orange button or go to the link and type in forward slash feed at the end of their link. Okay. So all you would do is take this link right here, which is Dan's feed feed link. And you simply head over back to Feed Reader, okay? You head over back to Feed Reader. You click on File, File, and then New, and then you click on Feed. So that basically means you're adding a new feed. And you see the best thing about Feed Reader is it already pasted it for me because I had copied it. Just click and you paste it in here, okay? You click OK and then it's gonna add it to your feed, okay? Okay. Once it comes up, it shows up a little noise, and it shows here. We already have Dan's feed, you know. And every time Dan writes a new article blog post, we're gonna be able to. Uh, it's gonna notify us directly with this uh, note right here, and we're gonna be able to click on this. Okay. What you would do is you would click on the up on the article, it would open it up, and you would be able to click on the article and then right click. And what you would wanna do is open new article and new window. So that means it will take you directly to the article itself, and from there you would be able to comment. In this case, then wrote a new article, which is how much time do you spend composing a tweet, you know? And in this case, we would be able to comment. So let me see. Let me see. How much time? How much time do you spend composing a tweet? In this case, you know, we're gonna go ahead and give Dan a comment, and I then I have to start uh, uh, basically coming in and commenting your site, by the way, because you've been really nice to me and my side and I just gotta return the favor man and I'm gonna make sure you know I start doing that so but yeah I'm just gonna give him Dan a, a comment real quick okay Dan it, 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 it doesn't take me long to compose uh, my tweets my tweets because because I always know I always know how I how I want it, how I want it, and who I want it to reach. To reach, okay. I will just submit comment, okay. And then I will be commenting on your site more often, as you can see. I just uh, added your feed reader to my site, so that means I'm following up with you, okay. And okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a live example. You know, because this article that I'm writing, that you're reading right now, I'm gonna use it. I'm using it as the example to show you live. I just showed you how feed reader works, but I'm gonna actually post this new article that you're reading right now. Okay, <laughs> I know it sounds outrageous, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, all right.
Okay. Okay. Ah, as you can see, I got a couple of comments and hey, thanks again, Dan. All right. So now I'm just gonna head over to my stuff. I'm I'm I already showed you how it works, but I'm gonna just show you with a real life how it's gonna notify me. You know? Okay. So I had the article right here. The article that you're reading, this is the actual article. And basically, yeah, the article that you're reading, this is the actual article right here that I'm gonna be I'm gonna be posting up and showing you. But first thing you remember I have to do is I'm gonna add my own feed to feed reader. I have to add that before it can notify me of the new article. Alright? So as you can see my site is a website that has the the feed orange button. And I just added it so I don't need to go in the uh, uh, address bar and type in forward slash feed. You know, all I need to do is click on this orange button and it takes me directly to the feed. And most all websites have different feeds. You know, not all of them necessarily use feed burner. As you can see, Dan Dan used feed burner. He just left the raw feed out, but you could still use the link. Okay? So now all you would do is come here, click on the link, copy it. Okay, this is my feed, the link of my feed. And I head over, you head over back to feed reader, okay? You type in file, you click on file, new, click on feed, and boom, it already pasted it for me. But what in your case, you would just click on paste, and boom, we're gonna add this feed up, okay? We're just gonna click OK, and we're gonna add my feed, all right? And as you can see here, it just popped up. What is a backlink? If I wanna go see this article, all I have to do is click on it, okay? And then I come back right here, right click on it, and then click open article in new window. It's going to take you directly to the article where you're going to be able to be the first one to comment. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, uh, this article that you're reading right now, I'm going to post it up where you're going to see how feed read. Well, I just showed you how it worked live with Dan, but you're really going to see how it notifies me directly once I uh, post up the article. Okay, so now it has my feed, it has it, you know, I'm following up with my own feed just to show you this example. And so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to just head over and I had already set everything up for this article so let me just make sure everything's set up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish it and as soon as I publish it I'm going to get this uh, notification from feed reader you know and this is how powerful feed reader is now I'm going to just go ahead and click publish alright I published it now I'm waiting for the notification directly on on my uh, feed reader we're waiting for it we're waiting okay is publishing okay and I'm also going to show you some on feed reader because feed reader is an alternative to feed I mean uh, Google Google reader is an alter alternative to feed reader but you can also use this as well you can also uh, this feed reader is actually better than Google reader but Google reader is a nice alternative to to feed reader okay all right I just posted the new article, so this uh, this article should be showing up any minute now in my feed reader. If it doesn't, I'm, I know very soon or later it's gonna come because that's how it works. Okay. Okay. This thing should show up any minute on feed reader. Okay. Okay, 
so it's, it, it does not show right away but I know that you know I've used feed reader and it's gonna show like once it put up the notification and you'll just be able to go in there and it, it, it you know it doesn't take long for it to come up so alright but that's basically it for the training you know what well, I'm gonna show you uh, the, the Google Reader technique right now alright because this is a, a, an alternative to Google Reader okay I mean Google Reader is an alternative to, to feed reader so alright so first thing you need to do is uh, to get a Google Reader account you must have a Gmail account okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and sign into my Gmail account okay now sign into it it does the same thing as feed reader but the only thing is feed reader is way better I mean yeah the only thing uh, is feed readers be way better than Google reader okay because it gives you the no notification directly to your uh, desktop and you get it directly and you know you'll be able to go in there and, and you know be one of the top ones to come if not the first one okay stop in Google reader okay Google reader get that here okay sorry let me let me go back and make sure that I show you how to find Google reader <laughs> well like I just showed you can go to Google and just go to Google search in and type in Google reader okay and you know that'll be the first link right here you'll be able to click on it open it up and the other way is let me see I'm on you can make sure here you click on more right here and then you click on even more all right so you're gonna do a little scrolling up here and you see should be able to have find Google reader here. okay Products, home, books, Google, books, calendars, clips. Okay, Google, so that's not where it's at. Oh, no, 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 it is, it is, it is, it is here. Here's Google Reader. You simply right here, click on this link that says Reader. Okay. And here is the same. It's basically, it basically the, the the same process, okay. Right here is is basically is basically the same process. All you would do is you would, if you wanted to add a feed to your Google Reader to stay updated, all you would do is you would click on subscribe, and then take up the link of the feed, and you would add it right here. In this case, you know, I just put mine in and click add, and then it's automatically gonna add it for you see that it automatically added it added my feed to it okay and so that's Google Reader is one of the alternatives that you could use you know and so most definitely it's 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 one of the alternatives but feed reader I, I feel that is way better you know okay as you can see as you can see here the the, the notification for uh, feed reader just came up for the new article I wrote as you can see blog commenting on technique be the first one to comment on the most popular blogs in your niche it just popped up and so this is how cool this uh this basically this tool is man that as soon as you 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 put in that feed and someone put you put in the feeds that you want and uh the person writes a new blog post it directly send it as soon as they write the new blog post and remember the the best technique for this is it's basically I'm gonna go back to the article it's commenting I've listed out these big name blogs internet marketing blogs in the internet since we're internet marketers these huge name big name internet marketing blogs on the internet and I've put their link feeds on there so all you gotta do is just take the link feed pay copy and paste it into feed reader and then start staying up to date because these people get a lot of traffic so that means you have their feed and feed reader notifying you of it and that means you'll be able to get a lot of traffic by being the first one to comment this just gives you a heads up man this is huge a big awesome tool and I really you know suggest that you use it so I want to thank you my friend for taking the time and this is basically it thank you alright I hope you use this technique It's very powerful for traffic and thank you bye bye